What is diagenesis? Diagenesis is a geological process that occurs after sediment is deposited and before it becomes sedimentary rock. It involves a series of physical, chemical, and biological changes that alter the texture, composition, and other properties of the sediment. During diagenesis, the sediment is subjected to a range of environmental conditions, including temperature, pressure, and the presence of fluids such as water, gases, and minerals. These conditions can cause physical changes such as compaction and cementation, as well as chemical changes such as mineralization and the breakdown of organic matter. The end result of diagenesis is the formation of sedimentary rock, which can include sandstone, limestone, shale, and other types of rock. The specific type of rock that forms depends on the nature of the original sediment and the conditions that it was subjected to during diagenesis. Diagenesis is an important process in the formation of many natural resources such as oil, natural gas, and coal, as well as in the preservation of fossils and other geological features. What are the diagenesis processes? Diagenesis involves a range of processes that alter the properties of sediment and lead to the formation of sedimentary rock. Some of the key diagenesis processes include Compaction This process involves the reduction of pore space between sediment grains due to the weight of overlying sediment. It is one of the most important diagenetic processes and can result in a significant reduction in the volume of the sediment. Cementation this process involves the precipitation of minerals such as calcite or silica from fluids in the sediment, filling the spaces between sediment grains and binding them together. Mineralization This process involves the replacement of one mineral with another due to chemical reactions between minerals in the sediment and fluids. Common mineral replacements include the conversion of aragonite to calcite and the replacement of feldspar with clay minerals. Recrystallization, this process involves the growth of new crystals in the sediment, often as a result of changes in temperature, pressure, or fluid composition. Recrystallization can result in changes in the mineral composition and crystal structure of the sediment. Organic matter alteration, this process involves the breakdown of organic matter in the sediment by bacteria and other microorganisms. Organic matter can be converted into other substances, such as oil or gas, or can result in the formation of new minerals. Dissolution This process involves the dissolution of minerals in the sediment due to the presence of acidic fluids. Burial This process involves the burial of sediment to greater depths in the Earth's crust, which can lead to changes in temperature, pressure, and fluid composition. These diagenesis processes can occur in various combinations and with different intensities depending on the nature of the sediment and the environmental conditions it is exposed to. The end result of diagenesis is the formation of sedimentary rock, which can include sandstone, limestone, shale, and other types of rock. How does diagenesis occur? Diagenesis occurs after sediment is deposited and involves a range of physical, chemical, and biological processes that alter the properties of the sediment. The exact way diagenesis occurs depends on the nature of the sediment and the environmental conditions it is exposed to, but generally involves the following steps. Deposition Sediment is deposited in a basin, such as a river delta or a lake bed. Burial The sediment is buried by additional sediment, which increases the weight and pressure on the sediment. Compaction, the weight of overlying sediment causes the sediment grains to become more tightly packed, reducing the volume of the sediment. Cementation, minerals such as calcite or quartz can precipitate from fluids in the sediment, filling the spaces between grains and binding them together. Mineralization, chemical reactions can occur between minerals in the sediment and fluids, resulting in the formation of new minerals. Recrystallization, the original minerals in the sediment can change in composition and or crystal structure due to changes in temperature, pressure, or fluid composition. Organic matter alteration, 
organic matter in the sediment can be broken down by bacteria and other organisms, resulting in the release of gases such as methane and the formation of new minerals. Porosity reduction, the process of compaction, cementation, and mineralization can reduce the amount of space between grains, reducing the overall porosity of the sediment. Lithification, the end result of diagenesis is the formation of sedimentary rock through the process of lithification. The specific type of rock that forms depends on the nature of the original sediment and the conditions that it was subjected to during diagenesis. Diagenesis can occur over a period of thousands to millions of years, depending on the rate of sediment deposition and burial, as well as the intensity and duration of the environmental conditions that promote diagenesis. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.